In New Town, we're learning more tonight about an apparent murder-suicide in Huntsville. It happened earlier this week. According to Huntsville Police, it happened on Monday at the Watercrest Green Apartment. That's on Old Fairway Road. The victims have been identified as two young adults, 24-year-old Jamila Tyson and 21-year-old Naomi Jackson. Way 31's Brittany Harry is live after speaking with Jackson's family tonight. Well, Huntsville Police, they haven't really released any details regarding this investigation. I reached back out today and they told me that the case is ongoing at this time and that there is nothing new to release. But tonight I talked to Naomi Jackson's family and they told me they were told by authorities that she was killed. This is her bedroom. And if you don't mind, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at just one of the writings that she has. You know, this is, this is, I can do all things to Christ who, this is who she is. Uh, you're looking at somewhere else on, on her wall and she's pointing out she believed she could do so she did this is this is naomi naomi jackson was just weeks away from graduating from alabama a m originally from atlanta georgia the 21 year old was pursuing a degree in neuroscience she had big dreams and her family says she was well on her way to achieving them she walked into a room everyone eyes on naomi but naomi was just there to serve there to befriend you there to encourage you she was phenomenal. When she wasn't studying, her family says she was feeding the homeless through her organization Hands and Hearts Connect in Atlanta or empowering young women through her platform, Too Pretty for What. In 2021, she created Crown Carriers with a mission to help young women focus on the freedom of tapping into their authenticity. Her life was not in vain. Her, her dying was not in vain. She, she's she, she's going to leave a legacy behind. Her family says her legacy will live on through what she's already done. Because of what she's already done, she already started that work. Mm -hmm. She has a foundation. She has a garden. And she will have folks who right. can pick up and keep carrying it on. Carrying it on. Yeah. And the family has been here to Huntsville since Monday. And they're back in Atlanta now, kind of planning her celebration of life. Those dates have not been announced at this time. But for now, reporting live in Huntsville, Brittany Harry, Way 31 News.